This is the Lamborghini Urus. This is the Lamborghini Urus 2022. It is one of the most powerful SUVs in town right now. I'll tell you the quirks and features about this car. And I'll tell you the price and how good it drives shortly. Stay tuned. The design, performance, the driving dynamics and the driving effort flows seamlessly into the visionary approach of the Lamborghini DNA. That is why they gave us a car that looks like the immediate elder brother of the Aventador. It looks like the big brother. You can see how massive it is from the edges. It has a whole lot of edges all over this car. This is a 4.0 liter gasoline engine. 650 horsepower, 850 newton meters of torque. It has an eight speed automatic gear shift and it's all wheel drive. Check out the aggressive nature of the front of this car. You see the angry lights. I like the design of the lights. It actually has the Techno LED Lamborghini lights. These are the latest in town. It has your sensors, the camera down there. Because it looks like a transformer. It looks like it. Come on, check out, check this out, man. If you look here, you see the hexagonal display on the grill here. It has a lot of sporty and angry looking face to this car. Provided by El Hamidi Luxury Motors. They have the best cars in this town. In this game, brand new cars. They give you best prizes too. You guys should really use them. They do the best things around here, the best games. Check out the size of this car and the style. Look at the falling roof line design for more aerodynamics when the car is moving. This car actually weighs around 200, 2,200 kilograms. 22 tons. It is massive. Can you see the size of the rims on this car? Can you see the style, the whole sports design of this car? It is heavy, still sporty and extremely fast at the very same time. These are 24 inch tires on this Lamborghini Urus. Check out this aggressive looking rim design on it. The front tires are the same size as the back tires, 24 inch tires, and they have the largest brake pads on a production vehicle in the market right now. Only the Lamborghini Urus. Some nice roof spoilers here on it, and a nice one down here too. Has the Lamborghini clearly written behind it. And if you check out this new, all the aggressive detail of this rear view lights, I love them. Has your nice four exhaust down here, let you know you're moving on a very tough engine. Hexagonal designs too. Check out these nice diffusers. Some of them, it could be carbon fiber. This is lovely. If you notice, it has your sensors there too, and obviously your cameras. The car, the car comes with power side mirrors, which has your cameras underneath, and sensors too, when they get too close to you. So now we're gonna talk about the boot. Simply, double tap, and the boot pops up. It's spacious. It comes with high quality when you talk about the Lamborghini. You should understand this. You can actually remove this, which gives you extra space in the back. And as easy as that, you fix it back. They give you a whole lot of space here in the boot. A lot of head space. Okay, not, maybe not a lot, but for a six footer or below, you have a lot of space here. Check out these details, the hand stitch details with the color of the car. Alcantara. They give you a little bit of harness here. You have your first aid kits, some maintenance kits here. It has your sunshade, comes with this whole sunshade of the car. You can actually put this to cover the car to protect. It's a luxurious car, it has to stay away from the heat. And this is plastic, you simply pop this out. You have extra space there for your tires and your maintenance features down there. Why did I call this a harness? You simply pop this out and you draw. If you have moving parts around this car, it can actually help you hold it together into place. And to put it back, pop back in, and there it is. Here, it's actually a polish for the car to protect the paint daily. It's luxurious. Another thing I like about this car are these frameless windows. You might not really understand how important it is to have frameless windows until the car is actually open and you gotta drop these glasses down. I love them. So here we are, the back seats. I always say six foot, a whole lot of headspace for me. 
and leg room for me too. It could have been bigger, but I understand the design of this car and that's why it's like this. There's a little bit of space here in the driver's seat where I can actually see in front, but the driver is there obviously, I can't see anything. You have your air vents here, your speakers down here, these are some solid materials here on the side. Leather, leather, leather. Aluminium, funny enough, the hexagonal design of the, of the door openers are actually aluminium. Down here too, you also have, okay, this is plastic. And you have your cup holders here too. These are nicely designed, hexagonally designed too. And you have your air vents here, which are also controlled from the passengers at the back independently. I like the whole solid materials they used on these back seats. What I don't like are these humps we have down here. They look extremely big. You can't actually have a third passenger with the design of this car, but there are other models which can actually have somebody sitting in the middle. But this car is only designed for four people in the car. You have a nice department here which you can store your valuables, whatever you want to move around with. But what it doesn't have down here is like a coolant or a heater which can heat up your liquids or whatever you have you want to heat up. You have this little bas bask here which holds your items like your files into place. And I'll call it one of the first of first for a sports SUV. It actually has this seat controls for a back seat passenger where you can actually move the seat forward, backward, the rest, you know, even the seats, your leg positions, you can actually adjust them on a back seat for a car like this. And it also has a Lamborghini here in aluminium written. It has a little compartment there which you can put your bottle water or something else you want to put. Bottle water obviously, if you don't know what I just said. I love these sports seats, they are firm and elegant, but what I don't like about them is it protrudes, the headrest protrudes your head forward and it's not adjustable. Lamborghini, I know you guys can do this. Let me show you something about this car. Take note of the speakers. <laughs> I love this. This infotainment display is beautiful, it's elegant and it looks expensive if you ask me. The whole black and the orange trim all over and it gives you all this display. The cameras are extremely bright. It has your 360 cameras, your parking sensors, even a 3D camera. Let me show you something about the 3D camera. There's a bike there parked right in front of me. And if I turn it, you can clearly see the bike. Even the guy walking in front, it's live, live 3D. Also beside me, there's an SUV. This is beautiful. This, this is, this is, when you talk about safety, Lamborghini actually put it out there for you to see. The infotainment display has this haptic feedback, whereby when you touch it, it vibrates and it clicks. You hear a clicking sound when you touch it. Let me keep quiet a little bit for you to hear this. Did you hear that? If you didn't, I did. You need to get into the car before you can hear it. If you're driven a car like this, please let me know in the comment section other features you know about this car. Down here, you find a climate control system. But it's not just a climate control system. You can actually do your off-roading settings here. And there's something else it does. I'll show you. For example, I want to go, I want to navigate my way to, let's say, Dubai. This is what I do. Navigation, search, Notice this changes, and then you do something like this. Yep, and just like that, you can easily scroll to wherever you want to go, and that's it. I could even put home there and take me home. Obviously, I have to drive myself home. It's not self-driving. Only has a parking assist and a camera assist. Lane assist too, if you want comes on the base model of this car. Everything is properly detailed and I like the color and the contrast they use on it. Look at the whole dashboard. You have some leather dashboard, some hexagonal designs displayed all over this car. Even on the glove box there, 
look at this steering it's massive it's exclusive and it has this italian logo here with the lamborghini badge here and if you notice there's a hexagonal design too here it has this kind of Alcantara kind of steering design metal here aluminium actually not metal but it's still the same you have leather here and if you notice the stitches it goes with the color of the interior orange and black orange and black orange and black everywhere the car has a heads-up display which lets you know the speed at which you're moving so that you don't get no speeding fines one thing i don't like are the gear shifters for example to put the car on drive mode you have to hit this gear shifter here and the car is actually on drive mode right now but if you want to put it on reverse and park you can't do that if you want to put it on park you have to come down here to click p and if you want to put it on reverse you still can't click that button you got to pull this lever here and the car is on reverse mode a bit complicated for an everyday drive but you probably get too used to it if you drive a car like this frequently you can see the gear shifters here you have your strata which is your economy or everyday driving mode you have your sports gives you more free, more power to the chassis and the corners and you have your Corsa which gives you a loud noise on that exhaust add more aggressiveness into the driving experience of this car and you also have your knee your knee is when you want to go off-roading it adds an extra 14 millimeters to the height of this car down here you see the ignition button the face looks like an iron man's mask that's what i see when i see that and down here you have your start and stop button your parking is here and this is your reverse when you pull it back it's on reverse and to put it back on park simply tap on this it gives you a whole different gear here for your volume button i like that about it and this concludes the review for 2022 lamborghini Urus. You can check our channel to find a review of the 2021 Lamborghini Urus and the driving experience. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. Thank you. Goodbye.